I'm uh, Adam Kahn. I work at uh, Cross Borders, and I uh, started a subsidiary called CV Labs at Cross Borders, which is a uh, intellectual property uh, wing, and I'm a creative op creative director at CV Labs. So the Adventures of Timmy, uh, the brief story is about a little boy who wears a cat suit to school, and uh, he's very shy, doesn't have a lot of friends, and uh, he gets bullied around and. Uh, a little girl named Kitty approaches him to kind of be his friend, and at that sort of pinnacle moment in the story, she gets kidnapped by a bully, and uh, Timmy feels this overwhelming power once he puts his hood on, uh, almost as like a kid superhero to go rescue her. So uh, I think most games don't really have sort of these like storylines like we've created for the adventures of Timmy, but I felt like... Uh, it brought this nostalgic factor that Super Mario had about saving the princess, and I wanted to kind of incorporate that into the game so you felt more in love with the characters. Typically, a lot of platform games, when they trans transition over to the, the iPhone um, or touchscreen devices, try and use a D-pad and multiple buttons. And, you know, I, I'd like to think I have sort of big thumbs. So what we did was we kind of scaled it back and left it to its just kind of core, what the device can do. and. There's only two buttons. You use your left thumb to move left and right, and your right thumb to jump. Uh, and then the extra sort of bonus factor, since Timmy is a little boy in a cat suit, he can actually cling onto walls when you jump, and he can scale the walls. So what we try to do is merge um, 2D and, I guess, like, sort of beautiful landscapes together and kind of have that juxtaposition. And the game really... Uh, really represents who I am sort of as an artist, so I try to infuse as much of my <clears throat> design and style into the characters and then sort of fuse that with beautiful landscapes and luscious ground and, and minimalistic color. We're kind of at a place where we're, we're sort of in our own space. You know, it is definitely an arcade game and a platformer game, but I don't think anyone's sort of taken it the, to this level of uh, you know, whether it be the storyline or just the way you feel playing the game. So the team is very small. Uh, I'm designing all the characters in the game from uh, designing all the characters in the game and all the animations. My partner Keith uh, Cernio is designing all the the uh, foreground elements and background elements. We're using a company out in American Fork, Utah called Rain and they have uh, one developer on the project and one producer on the project. Uh, sound is being done by uh, a company called Frisbee, a New York-based um, studio down in Tribeca. I think collaboration is the biggest part. You know, you can't, you have to realize you can't do everything on your own, and I, I learned that early on from like, oh, I, you know, I wanted to write this great story, and I wanted to create these great characters, and I wanted to design a great game. I realized that I couldn't do that, so I felt the best way to do this was just to collaborate with like my best friends and really who are really talented and kind of put us all together in a room to make a product that we were passionate about so you know whether it's uh, the person writing the script is a relative who's a brilliant writer who writes for comic books to my buddy who uh, has done TV commercials for some you know some big brands like Pepsi and Captain Morgan to uh, you know artists that want to do uh, vinyl dolls for us so it, it has to be a collaborative process, otherwise you're never going to finish. Do your research and homework. Put your hands on everything. Play whatever you can. Uh, read as much as you can. And then more or less just go for it and tell yourself that you're going to do it and uh, really make the best product that you can and keep it, I'd say, keep it down to its core and and make something that is what you wanted and believe in at its simplest form. You know, you're gonna you're gonna hear, oh, you should add this or oh you should add that, but at the end of the day, I think what's gonna make a great product for anyone is just believing in what they want to believe in and make something that they're passionate about and they're not they're not thrown off course by people's opinions. Thank you very much. I'm Adam Khan. Uh, the Adventures of Timmy, Run Kitty Run will be launching in the App Store in Late September, early October. Hope you guys like it and have fun.